All right, this your over 50 life girl coming at you. I'm recording. Hello. And I'm going to show y'all some a meal or a dish I just thought of myself. Um, I like to just put stuff together. And, uh, you know, I like to put stuff together and see what is what. Oop. And I got to get this stuff in order here. All right, y'all have to excuse me. I'm cooking for my husband and my son, so their food is being done on the other side, you know, so forgive me for doing two different things, okay, now, I'm going to do a dish with cabbage, leeks, mushrooms, tomatoes, bell peppers, uh, garlic, and the book I was talking about, Eat to Live, it said that, you know, you might want to not use oil, but that's your preference. I'm going to try it without oil because of the calories, right? Okay, so I'm going to saute with organic vegetable broth and pop this baby on. Oh, come on, bro. Oh. Okay, sometimes stuff want to act up. I hope y'all seeing a good thing. I'm steaming vegetables over here. My husband likes steamed vegetables, but this he will not eat. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little bit of, a, as you see, the vegetable broth. I want to have enough so when it start doing its thing, it'll do its thing. And the leeks y'all can see it y'all see the leaks i had to uh go on google to see how to do these i never had leaks before you're supposed to cut the green part the big green part off and then the end you chop it like that and put it in some water and let it sit and they said let the dirt go to the bottom because they say leaks are very dirty so i'm gonna rinse my leaks off and, hey, y'all just talk amongst yourselves as I do that. I know the last uh, video I had, it showed about how my weight journey. And I had a struggle in my life, which I did. And I'm just showing y'all how you can make a better lifestyle by the choice of food that you eat and how you cook your food okay and i will be showing you as i go you see it's starting to steam up and the first thing i'm gonna put in is my cabbage i did all my prep because i know with the prep that'll take a long time and we don't want this video to be no hour hour and a half long, you know, ain't nobody gonna look at it like that, I don't guess, but anywho, I'm putting my cabbage in, and we know that cabbage are cooked down, I don't know, this might be a long one, because I want to show y'all what I do, the, the meal that I like to do, and I like this more than any, being vegan, I like to do my cabbage and all of that because it's talking about whole foods. So we want to have whole foods to, you know, feel better, right? Right. But I like sauteing it down, put a little salt in it, not a whole lot of salt. Y'all see that? That's pink salt. It's Himalayan salt. That's better than the white salt. And it's got better properties for you. So I just take a pinch and pinch it in there like that. Nice little some because I got a lot of vegetables. So that's all you're going to really need with that. And use the black pepper. Put some of that. I don't put a whole lot of black pepper in there. I like it, but not like that. Okay, so let's let that cook down. And 
and start wilting a little bit. And I guess I need to go and put my leeks in there because they kind of like, I guess, leeks, they like onion. When I first cut it, I said, whoo, man, that's some strong stuff right there. But as you cook it, you see how it's in onion layers. As you cook it, it gets milder and you got a onion flavor but not so much like knock out knock you out the ballpark you know because i can't have raw onions that do something to my system it don't like me i don't like it so this works for me very fine i cooked some of the leeks the other day and i did a different uh combination i put uh carrots and mushrooms and something else other kind of peppers and stuff so and it was pretty good y'all it was pretty good can y'all see that when i get all the ingredients in there i bring it a little closer i got a small kitchen small kitchen small kitchen so i have to kind of make do with what i have so that's cooking and i'm gonna put Deal. I love some deal. It is so, it smells so good. If you like pickles, you like fresh deal. And I put, I chopped that up and I put in oregano. And I haven't had this oregano for a little bit. And what you do to save it a little bit, I took a paper, wet paper towel, got it wet. And then just wrap the oregano, as you can see, wrap it around there. And you tell when it starts going bad. Some of the leaves will turn dark. And I guess if you want the dark leaves, you can eat it. But that's up to you. But I'm going to do my deal like that so I can keep it a little longer. Being that it's fresh. Oh, she's starting to cook real good. Real good. I'm very happy. I'm going to turn that off over there. The veggies and the mac and cheese. I'm doing mac and cheese for my son because he loves mac and cheese. And I cook mine on top of the stove. I know some people go, that ain't no good mac and cheese. Well, this kind, you just have to make it your own, y'all. You just have to make it your own. And he likes it. My husband, he eats it. So... Hey, that's all that matters, right? But this starting to cook down. And I think I'm going to put my other stuff in there. And I can get closer. I chopped me up some rough chopped some garlic. See that? I got the elephant garlic. I don't think I'm going to get that again. Because it's, it's so big. But I guess you can chop it up fine. But who got time for that? You want to do it and get it over with. Some fresh tomatoes. Put that in there. My mushrooms. Chop them. Put that in there. I'm just showing y'all what, what I did here. Had to do prep. And got yellow bell peppers. I like a variety, you know. Don't y'all like variety? I like variety. And as the book says, if you eat enough vegetables and here go my herbs y'all see that okay i hope y'all find this interesting but this is what you do to reduce your uh you know your calorie intake as you eat to live brought out you eat you can eat a whole lot more vegetables a volume of vegetables than you can if you eat dairy, meat, products, and stuff like that. Get weigh you down, make you sleepy. But if you can eat a boat load, boat load full of veggies and the calories will be good because we know it's low calorie, right? Right. All right. Now, let me get this cleaned off. And I can get my camera, my phone camera that is a little closer because I hate for my spot to be all jacked up and all of that 
Okay, let's put that there. Okay, let's bring this a little closer. Whoop. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Don't that look good? Don't that look marvelous? That looks marvelous. Ooh, Ooh, production is so Tabitha said production, production. Y'all forgive me. My my camera done went crazy. Okay, let me see. Can I put it back on there, y'all? I got a new new device trying to hold this thing. And the camera is heavy. The phone is heavy. Y'all see that? Voila! Yay! Got it. All right. Y'all see it? Y'all see it. Try to get it so you can... Whoa, it's going to try that again. Come on, man. Help a sister out. All right. She's going pretty good. Let's mix it all up. And just let it cook down. Let's see. Mmm. Okay. And I'm going to add something that I like a lot. Y'all see that? It's called... Red Star is nutritional yeast flakes. This is where you get your vitamin. Can't talk, y'all. Vitamin B12. Because when you go vegan, you got to get your vitamins from somewhere. And you get them from your, uh, I like a lot because it's a cheesy, nutty taste. And I like cheese, so that's my substitute. Except when you can go get some vegan cheese, which I do have. But you can cook with the nutritional yeast and give it that nutty flavor. See how it's cooked down, y'all? See how them cabbage and leeks and my mushrooms and stuff is starting to get a little bit tender there. And we'll just let it cook down. And... Okay, I need to take me a squeeze of water. I'm drinking some Voss trying that water. It tastes pretty good. It tastes pretty good. I need it. I need it there. <laughs> but, oh yeah, I got me some lemon. I hadn't tried the lemon in this before. Let me turn this down and just squeeze the lemon in there. It's not the lemon seeds. This wouldn't be good eats. Not at all. Let's see what's over here. And let's squeeze some more. See, I'm putting the lemon juice in there. And whoop! I know I don't have the best camera. And I'm using my phone, like I said. But hey, one day I have me a professional situation. Yes. It's cooking down quite well. I need to cook down a little bit more. And that's basically it right there. And you said where the meat, I could put some uh, sausage sausages in there. I don't know. I might. I don't know. What y'all think? Leave some comments down below. And let me know if uh, I should put some, uh, I call it mock, uh, what you call it, mock meat let me show y'all hold on hold you hold you hold you all right y'all see that right there it says no evil no evil protein for all in plants and we trust in plants we trust get that that's cute anyway it's a sausage and it says no evil. It's vegan, non-GMO. And it's pretty good. I ate two of them in my dishes. And they taste pretty good. But I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. That's what it looks like, the link. And it's got a casing on it. And I'm going to cut that casing. You don't want to eat the casing. That wouldn't be good eats. That would be not good eats at all. So that's what it looks like. Like that. Y'all see that? And I'm just going to cut it up. 
just like regular sausages. I guess you can, you can, you know, do it like breakfast sausage if that's what you want. Like I said, it is plant based. I'm gonna put that in there. Ooh, that's making it good, y'all. Making it real good, very, very good. All right. I'm going to cut the other one. Because this will last me uh, at least a couple of days. Maybe three since it's a big skillet of it. So, you know, I can eat off of it. Like I said, the book says, Eat to Live says, got down too low, that you can eat a bunch of veggies Put a little, little bit. No, I don't need more. I was, I was gonna put some more of that in there, but I don't think I need it. Uh, you can eat a whole bunch of veggies, get full, and then you won't be craving all this other stuff. You know? Let me show y'all close up what it looks like. Y'all see it? Hold on. I can't tell if I'm Do y'all see that? Looks good, don't it? That's going to be my supper for today. Woo. Let me check the mac and cheese for my son. Oh, yeah. Looking pretty good. Put a lot of cheese in there. Shredded cheese for, for them because they that's how they like it. A friend of mine said, girl, how do you do that without tasting it? Well, you kind of gauge it and go, okay, you know, I've had macaroni and cheese most of all my life until I turned vegan. And you kind of can tell a little bit. But, hey, I'm going to be honest, some things you just got to taste. You taste a little bit, not too much. And that won't hurt you. Yeah. But you do what you have to do. Got to, when other folks are not vegan, you got to accommodate the situation. And while that is cooking, you see this? Well, y'all don't see this red pot right there. It's got the steamed veggies. I got to get it out before it cooked down too much. I turned it off. And I just need to let it do its thing. So y'all, talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourself. And I'm going to get this water off of it. Yeah. Alright. Now. Hopefully I didn't let it go to me. Ah, Chihuahua! That's what I get for picking up something hot, right? Get it back in there. Okay. Now, let that do this thing, and we see that's cooking up real good. But you know, y'all, I was going to talk about a subject that really touched my heart. Put some more. Okay. I know, I talk to myself while I'm cooking, so y'all, you know, forgive me on that, but we all do it, right? Right. Okay. See how that's cooked down real good? Now you got to let the, the uh, sausage cook. Ooh, 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 that pretty good, y'all. Taste a little bit of it. Turn that down on low and just let it cook down. All right. Well, you see I'm not a professional. You see I'm not a professional. I'm walking away from that. Let that cook. And I was going to talk about a subject that was deep for me. I'm going into my dining room where it's dark. In here. Oh, yeah. Have y'all ever had your heart broken? Have you ever had your heart broken? I'm sure a lot of us have. A lot of us have. Well, and uh, mystery, looking a mystery again. I'm at home. It's a Saturday. It's raining. 
and I'm at home. Okay, so that's why she looking crazy. But anyway, uh, have you had your heart broken by either your mate, your your children, your family? I know we all have. And when we go through that heartbreak or we go through that those uh feelings, how do you cope with it? How do you cope with it? I'm not going to get into too much detail because, you know, even though YouTube, you show a lot of things, you tell about, you know, you basically tell your life just about, but some stuff, yeah, you, you might not need to know. You just need to know that when a, when your heart is broken, how can you mend it? Give me some comments down below. Tell me how do y'all deal with a broken heart due to uh, a mate, a family member, children. How do you deal with that? It's it's rough. I had a rough week. That's why y'all ain't seen me but one time this week, which was this past Monday. And I had to deal with some stuff. I had to deal with some feelings because, let me pull that up, because my heart had gotten broken. And I'm trying to deal with it. And I cried about it, got my pity party over with it, and now I got to move on. I have to, per se, not move on, but process it and deal with it. So how do y'all deal with, with, with heartache? How do you deal with a broken heart that somebody has done or have laid upon you? It hurts very much, but we got to learn how to deal with it. And know how, how I deal with it, I have to process it. And then I have to, I do stuff to um, to make myself feel better. I try to do stuff for others. They say when you feel bad, do stuff for others. And I try to do that. I try to, I go visit uh, older friends of mine that's up in age. And I, I like older people. I relate to older people. I can, I can talk to them because you get wisdom from them. You know what I'm saying? So with older people, I... I can I can cope, you know, I can cope. But that's how I deal with it. How do you deal with it? How do you deal with it? Leave some comments down below and let me know how you deal with heartache. How you deal with a broken heart. How you deal with somebody feel like they ripped ripped it out your chest and throw it on the ground. Tell me how y'all deal with that because sometimes you can't recover from it. I had a brother He's he no longer with us. He was the oldest of eight. And I could talk to him about anything. And he had a nervous breakdown years ago when one of my other brothers died when he was 14. And I was six years old at the time. Didn't understand some things, but my brother, oldest brother, he he had a nervous breakdown. And he pulled himself back, but he didn't come back fully. Me and he could talk about anything. And he told me one time, he said, Emma, he said, if you ever feel yourself slipping and you slip, he said, when you get back, you never be the same. And I, I, I can believe that. I can definitely believe that because he was never the same. Even though I loved him, I still could talk to him. We had a good time. We laughed about a lot of stuff, but you still could tell it was something off about him. Love my brother dearly. Loved him dearly. Like I said, he I could talk to him about sex and everything. You know what I'm saying? Because he was the oldest of eight of us, and now it's down to five of us. But uh, I could talk to him about anything. And I would definitely would talk to him about this heartache if he was here today. But he's not, so I have to deal with it the best I can. Hey, prayer is strong. I say prayer. Put that in there. I can't sit here and not go through and tell you prayer is powerful because it is. And But we have to do other things to help that prayer to uh, help us. But y'all leave in the comments and let me know. What do y'all do about that feeling? Now I'm going back to my stuff here. And it's going to be a little turbulence. Because I'm trying to put this camera or this phone back on this hook. 
And I did. Yay. Okay, let me turn it down, y'all. Turn it back down to the star of the show. Without turning it. Oh, come on, man. Stop playing. Okay, there it go. I think. Yeah. There it is. Now we're talking. I think all the juices done went out. I guess if you like yours a little juicier, you can put a little more of the chicken broth in there. Boom. Boom. I'm trying to cook my plant sausages. But I want it to be cooked good. You know, even though it's plants, I guess you say it's plants, why you got to cook it well? Everything is a process, y'all. Everything is a process. We have to learn that in our life. Ooh, let me turn that off. Check this mac and cheese over here. Oh, yeah, boy. Bet y'all said, how come I won't show that? That's not the star of the show. Mac and cheese, not the star of the show. Not at all. It's this right here. Okay. So, anywho. But anyway, this is my dish. I'm going to let it cook a few more minutes. And let that sausage render down. Top over those steamed vegetables. And just kind of do that right there. So those sausages can get, get cooked there. This should be very good. Because the other one was good too. Mm. And you know we gotta have a taste test, right? Dio tried to run away. Y'all disregard that. My phone makes all kind of noises. All kind of noises. So please forgive the phone. But uh, she started to come back up. And I'm cleaning my area up. If y'all wondering what you doing, why I hear all that crazy noise. It's me moving around in the kitchen trying to put my stuff up. I like to clean up as I go because I want to sit down when I get through cooking. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to do all this cleaning up. I almost knocked down some stuff. But anyway, this it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, she's starting to do a little sticky sticky. A little sticky. I think I'm gonna turn it off. That's good and cooked down, don't y'all think? I think so. Alright. Now, I know y'all say, well, okay. I'm going to put some in a little plate. I'm anxious to see, put some in the plate. I'm anxious to see what it's about. I know I'm an amateur person. Like I said, one day. One day I'll be doing this right. How about I tell you what? We're gonna bring we're gonna bring this to the table. Going by fast so you won't see my how. <laughs> Cause it ain't hundred percent like I want it to be. All right. Y'all see that? It just jumped out. Merciful heavens. This is bad production today. Bad production. And I'm using a new tool. And that's why. I guess you need to use it before you do taping. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to do this. Now I'm blurry. What's going on? Um, blurry. There we go. I'll just hold it. I'm sorry. But this is true life. This is, this is life. This is, this is what we go through. This is what we go through. Okay. <laughs> y'all can't tell me y'all done had a bad situation and have a, a bad production day. And I'm having that. Like I said, one day I'm going to get professional. Okay, y'all see that? That's it. 
I'm going to give it a taste. Ooh, look at the steam coming off of that. Okay, I probably I'm gonna I'm gonna try to see can I edit this thing? <laughs> all right, y'all see all the cabbage and leeks and mushrooms, dill, garlic, peppers, tomatoes, and a little lemon, salt and pepper, and some uh nutritional yeast. All right, we gonna try it. Not bad. Let's see. Let's try it again. Did I get a pep? I ain't even getting no sausage, y'all. Well, if this is good, I know the sausage is going to be good because I've had it before. <laughs> All right. Another bite. Blow it. Yeah. That's good. That's pretty good, y'all. And that's a vegan dish, okay? That right there is a vegan dish. All veggies, all fresh produce, and you cook it in your, your vegetable broth. If, if you want olive oil, uh, grapeseed oil, I do cook with that. Or, you know, avocado oil. That's some good oils as well. Just be careful how much you use because, as it says, added fat. But I have, you know, I have cooked with it. I'm not saying not to cook with it. But, you know, the book suggests if you want to cut more calories, then use, like, broth. So I was just trying to broth and see. I guess either way, if whatever floats your boat. I'm going to take another bite. Let's put it up. Let it close up. That's pretty good. But anywho, that's my demonstration. Even though I botched up some stuff and dropped my phone a couple times. I'm going to see can I edit some of this stuff on this phone. Because that's just bad production. Am I right? Okay. All right, y'all. I'm going to let you go. And remember, y'all have a good day. Enjoy the day. And embrace the day, okay? And remember to... Put your comments down below. Y'all can say that girl do not know how to, don't know how to do no uh, filming. I need to get me a proper camera. I know. It'll happen one day. Hey, I'm just, again, I'm just, I'm new in the game with the YouTube. So y'all forgive me. But comment below. Give me a like. Give me some suggestions on how you mend a broken heart. Uh, hit that little button on the gray button on the side to let you know when I do another video. So y'all have a good one. We'll talk to you later. And I'm going to go and get me some more with the sausage in it. And I'm finna eat me some good stuff. Oh, Kurt, y'all try it. If you try it, hit me up. Let me know what you think. For those that's, that's want to try vegan, try it. It's just vegetables, right? Right. All right. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.